Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. So today I'm going to be showing you another quick and easy tutorial that's going to help you in your game. And that is health packs. So I'm actually starting off from the spawn invincibility tutorial. This is going to be our base. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. It was actually quite short and interesting. So with that, I've added our health pack right over there that I've put together. Looks pretty cool. It's got a big red plus on it. Interacting with this health pack will give us more health. So if we expand our object over here, we have our player. He runs around, he spawns with invincibility for three seconds, as done by these lines of code right over here, 23 and onwards. If we click him, he's going to take damage, done over here, and this damage is going to be displayed to us via the HUD, which draws the health bar for the player, and this controller is going to handle the spawning of a new player when he is destroyed. So let's go ahead and create a new object, object health pack. Let's give it the appropriate sprite. Let's add a create event. Now we don't want this health pack to just sit there waiting for the player to touch it. We also want to make it kind of animate a little. So let's give it a hover up variable, set it to true. Let's give it a scale of one. And these variables are going to help us make this health pack reduce scale and then increase scale. It's going to be doing that. It's going to be bobbing up and down. From a top-down perspective, it's going to look like it is hovering, which is going to look really cool. So now that we've got those, let's go ahead and add a step event. Drag in some code. Well, if we're hovering up, then if our scale is less than one, let's increase our scale by 0 0.01. Otherwise, when we do hit a scale of one, hover up is going to equal not hover up. Okay, and then let's put an else here. So if we're not hovering up, then we essentially hovering down. So if scale is greater than let's say 0 0.7 will be the minimum then scale is going to be decreasing by the same amount otherwise hover up equals not hover up just like that simple stuff and then right here at the bottom we're going to say image x scale equals scale and image y scale equals scale and then to spice things up even further let's add an image angle increase of one degree per step so it's going to be rotating also great stuff so that is just the animation of this health pack now that we've got that sorted let's add a collision event between itself and the player so going to object player add event collision with object health pack add in some code let's expand this a little Let's say, well, if the player's health is less than 100, do stuff, otherwise don't do anything. Let's say our health increases by 25% or 25 units when it interacts. Let's say if the player's health is greater than 100%, well, then let's just set it back to 100%. So this is a very good lesson in picking up a health pack at the wrong time. So if you've taken only five points of damage, and you go and pick up a health pack, you can't get five points from that health pack and then leave the remaining 20 points there. No, you take the whole thing and you waste 20 whole points of health. So the player should know about these dynamics so that he only takes health packs or uses them when he really needs them. Then lastly, I'm gonna say, well, with the other, and the object in other is what's interacting with the object player. So that's, so in this case, it's going to be the object health pack. Well, that's gonna go ahead and destroy itself. Simple as that. Okay, cool. So let's save everything. Let's go to our room. Let's expand this. So in this room, it is 3000 by 3000 pixels. It's slightly bigger. We have a view. It's going to be following the player. It's going to give us a 1280 by 720 box around us. That's going to be us. So let's go to objects. Let's add a few health packs around here. And when we click our player, it's going to decrease his health and give us an opportunity to pick up one of these tasty packs. Okay, save that. I'm running through it again. Remember, when we click on our player, that's going to decrease the health if he's not invincible. And when he collides with the health pack, it's only going to be using it if he has taken damage. Okay, cool stuff. So let's fire this up and see what happens. Oops, looks like we've got a typo, perhaps. Hover up not set for reading it. Let's go check a health pack. 
in the step event. Okay, let's check the create event. Ah, need to add an R right over there. Okay, cool stuff. Let's fire this up again. Cool stuff. So he's invincible. Now he is solid, which means he can take damage. There we go. He's taking lots of damage. Here's a health pack. It is rotating anti-clockwise by one pixel every step. It is bobbing up and down. Let's interact with it. Boom, got some health and it has destroyed itself. Check that out. And we can keep gaining health until we're 100%. Let's see, is that 100%? Now we're at 100. So let's see. Now that we're at 100%, we shouldn't be able to pick this up. We should be able to just walk straight over it. Pretty cool stuff. And if we click him, he's gone down. Now we can pick one up again and so on. And you can even make those health packs just teleport to somewhere else just so that there's enough health packs in the game world for the player to somewhat survive if he's intelligent enough to seek them out. So that about wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Project files for this can be found in the description. If you like mobile games, please check out my game, Element Earth, on the Google Play and Amazon app stores. Links in the description. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, please check out my Patreon campaign. I do appreciate your support. You can also follow me on various social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, things like that. So until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.